Uh, I could not contain my greed for long. So we're in Ambrosian Republic now, but we're not going to be for much longer. Coalition be damned. So Milan actually has one of the best fleshed out uh, mission trees and like events and just general country uh, stuff uh, and flavor. That, that's the word that I was looking for and struggling for that entire time uh, in the game. So today I thought I'd, uh, I'd play as them and we'll see how we get on. Ultimately, I'm going to be trying to do as much of these missions as, as much of as many of. Okay, to be fair, I woke up very, you know, shortly before this re recording session, but still, I should be doing better than that. Anyway, we do stuff like the Kingdom of Lombardy, uh, we can destroy Austria, have a union with Naples, that sort of stuff. Uh, but predominantly, it's sort of surrounding uh, murdering Venice, which I'm always down for, murdering, well, everyone up here, and then generally developing our nation over here. Uh, we can also get a unique government type, as well as a load of uh, different events, like I said. So why don't we crack on? I grab the Swiss, I grab the Venetians, and the Austrians have rivaled me. That kind of is horrible, but oh well. Uh, I don't want to rival Provence, just because I could probably get the French involved. No? You hate me. Mm, that sucks, because for one of our missions, we want any ally, army strength is at least 165% of Milan. This is something I don't like, the fact that the game expects you to have an ally that's stronger than you. Yeah, because it means I'm going to have to like destroy my troops to get it. And then I need three allies, so... Okay, I'm going to go for the Pope, the rival Provence. I sometimes mix up religious culture and religious diplomat. It's always instantly restart. That's just not a good sign for how the game's going to go. Now, if I get to the Hungarians before they ally the Austrians, I'd be a very happy man indeed. Or I could not, I suppose. Uh, Mantua and Brigands. Okay, I need three allies. That's one, that's two, and then I need a third that's stronger than me. I also need this Duke to die as soon as possible. But to be fair, if I attack Genoa directly and co-belligerent you, I could work well. It's only Lucca. Okay, this is going to be a huge war because we're fighting Genoa, Lucca, Venice, and all of Venice's allies and friends. But honestly, I think we can do that. It's worth it to get all these claims, as well as reclaiming the ducal lands at the same time, which will give us claims everywhere. Okay, I'm going to ally the Pope and drop this Manchuria alliance. I'm just going to hope that you give me what I want. There we go, excellent. Friends in high places. Now we can go ahead and work on taking out Genoa, and also abandoning our good ally and friend in Brigens. Now, any rival of yours is a friend of mine, like Castile. Buddy, this is what we want to see. Okay, who do you not like? Venice. Well, let's scornfully insult Venice then. There you go. Now you like me. Ally you. How are you feeling about the Ottomans? Honestly, the Ottomans, not a bad shout. Negative 49, that's not horrible. See, this way around, it's only 30,000 versus like 40,000. Okay, that evens out the numbers a bit more. Let's get it going. Okay, the war is, is against Genoa, so I think I should go after Venice first. Let's go help out the Pope. Yeah, because we can nip out this war for these two provinces. That'd be wonderful. I mean... If it's, if it's going, I'll take a few more, if you know what I'm saying, but still. Okay, what can I get away with here? Obviously, I'll take Genoa. Ladies and gentlemen, get ready for the uh, Golden Ambrosian Republic time. All right, so we have the Ambrosian Republic now, which gives us morale of armies plus 5%. So it's a 10% increase net from what we had previously. Um, unfortunately, we also dropped two stability, but we get some absolutism and everyone gets uh, change government form on us. All right, and here we go. We've got Sephorza. Uh, it's going to give us a bunch of autonomy, but we want Sephorza in charge. Because he is a decent general. Specifically, a 3542. I don't know if I should tell you what I'm going to be doing or not to sort of keep you on your toes. Um, what I'm going to do is with Sephorza, the government types, because I'm going to flip. Okay, I'll tell you, I'm going to flip twice. <laughs> so we're in Ambrosian Republic now, but we're not going to be for much longer. And then after that, we're going to flip again. There you go, everyone's going to hate us because they're going to have Restore Union cast spell out on us. Gain a stability or lose a stability. We can't really lose the stability. And gaining one, obviously, very, very important right now. But we're going to lose one anyway, I'm pretty sure. All right, here we go. So, Sephorza is going to clash with the Republic. He's recently learned of a plot to deprive him of his military command. So, we are going to put him on the throne. So, we are now no longer an Ambrosian Republic. We have a 555 in charge, who's 25. And we are a military dictatorship, which is maximum absolutism plus 30, morale of armies, and monthly autonomy change. And he's also a bold fighter. That seems quite fitting. So we can definitely take this land from Venice. We take back our cause. Although it's not, I probably should declare, I should probably declare a reconquest for these ones. Because it, it reduces the cost by 25%. Oh, God, that's a decision, isn't it? Yeah, okay, I'm, I'm going to pass on it for now. And I'm just going to, I don't know, humiliate or something. But he doesn't really have any allies that I'm scared of. And he's going to be fighting the Ottomans for a while. We could literally just white peace. Which gives us five years of truce. And he's going to be fighting the Ottomans for those five years. And then just marching and rolling. I think I'm going to do that. Then I can take two provinces here. Yeah, that works. Excellent. Right, so we have subdued Genoa, which gives us trade. 
and we've also gained access to the sea. Wonderful. So now we are going to wait five years and then declare war on you for reconquest. Yeah, I think that's smart. Oh, you, you can't be doing that. Oh my god, now what do I do? I could... Oh, it's 50% cost for... There's so many different Cassus Belli I could use on you. All right, so, Sephora's is seizing the throne, which I don't want. I can, do I want him just Sephora? He's kind of badass. Nah, we'll, um, we'll do the whole Ambrosian Republic thing. All right, 532, and is over here, but he's only a 1240. I don't know, he, like, he hit his head on the way. Uh, and we have a 04. The first event I get is minus one stability. Bro, <laughs> why? All right, well, we've got Renaissance at least. We need Milan to be, what is it, 30? Yeah, 30. Then we get more development stuff. I mean, we can't go any lower. Might as well just, yeah. I'm just going to tank my stability um, in favor of getting Republican tradition. We're getting the same stupid events. How we haven't taken out a loan is beyond me. Okay, morale of armies minus 5%. This is, I'm getting the worst events. I don't think I've had a single positive event this entire time. All right, when's this truce up? 59, three more years. Let's go murder these troops. That was painful. How much is, is not having the institution costing me right now? By the way, I know it seems like a really weird way to go around the Sephora thing. Oh, that's lovely. Oh, that's one stability. Um, but I'm pretty... And another stability. Okay. In the middle of a sentence. Um, I'm pretty sure it's the best way to navigate it. Uh, that may well be false. I could just be lying to you. But as far as I'm aware. Also, I wasn't sure if I wanted Sephora actually in charge. Because he's kind of a badass. This stupid event. All right, we're gonna, just going to gain stability now. I just It's just constant. And Republican tradition, uh, it was already low to begin with, which is horrible. I think it's this thing. So we need to have fewer rebel armies at least th than one. Okay, let's just do that then. Murder this lot, and then we'll have the end of it. And then we gain stability, I think. There you go. Prey St. Ambrose. One stability, 20 prestige. Golden Ambrosian Republic. That's not technically golden. But, and then after all that, we're going to... No, we're not going to switch to the Italian Signora. All right, two years, and then we fight the Venetians. Or oh, they're allied to the French. So I can't fight them. That's fun. And he's just, he's literally allied all of my rivals. Oh, God's sake, man. That was, I should have taken these promises in that first stupid war. Take out my frustrations on Lucker. If Castile would come in, I reckon we try and take out the French. Because they're always going to be an issue. Miltec 5, Miltec 4. Ugh. Okay, we desperately need this, uh, yeah, the Republican tradition. It's, it's killing us. Our stability cost is plus 100% right now. 115, I think. Something stupid like that. What's this? Oh, Shadow Kingdom. Yeah, we're, we're going to be balancing out the HRE. Yeah, somehow I'm not going to click. We must rein in the Italians. Thank you very much. All right, cheers, Lucka. I, I really do think we fight this with uh, everyone involved. Jump out of the HRE. Oh, he's only he's negative six away. He's fighting England. I could wait until he won't come in. I could wait until the French would not come in, or I could use the Castilians and Aragonese and that sort of stuff to batter the French alongside the uh, Hungarians and myself whilst they're fighting the English, which could be quite a good idea. No, Hungary wouldn't come in. Yeah, what, um, between, like, in the last month, you took 400 ducats in debt. How have you managed that? It's, like, impressively terrible. And, of course, he's a babbling buffoon, which completely destroys our chances of bringing in the Castilians and, and everyone else. So that's fun. That's real fun. Okay, Castile's also, like, gathered a few hundred ducats in debt. What is with these peacetime nations taking on more than, like, my country's worth GDP in debt in about a month? It's one away! Oh, my God, that is heartbreaking. France is negative four. How do you still have diplomatic reputation? And they peaced out. It's one. It's so close. It's one away. All right. Well, ideas-wise, I always go for military. I'm going to go plutocratic. Why not? was fun. France declared war on Savoy. That puts France at war with Savoy, obviously. Which means I could probably nip in and take... Oh, I see. I see what has occurred here. All right, so we can fight the Venetians whenever. Wait, he's in debt, right? <gasps> no one would come in. It's just a 1v1. This, it's on zero. I caught... Wait, come on quick. Come on quick. Okay, good. We'll call the papal state in. Okay, that could have been very bad. We're good. We got, we got lucky, boys. We got lucky. Ooh. Restoration of Union, you say. So, uh, that's a thing. Uh, how many people are you fighting? Ha. Ha, ha, ha. Interesting. And you have how many troops? 12,000. Gonna go ahead and say no on that one, Chief. Second offense of the siege. Any day now. Any day. Pretty soon. Just, uh, don't worry about your, your fort. It's okay. Hey, there we go. Uh, we can pay ducats to... No. 
I always find it strange that we have to pay that. Like, we loot it, and then I have to pay them. For army professionalism. Doesn't make any sense. The option should be army professionalism or money. We can fight this. Just, dude, just come here. Bro, just to help me. Oh, you are the worst. It's fine. I'll, I'll do it myself. Damn straight. Ooh, what'd I get? Republican yearnings. Stability cost modifier and reform progress rate. Let's do that now. Let's nip in and murder you. Okay, stability at the same time. Thank you. Oh, God. Okay, yeah, you'll peace out after that. Excellent. Take those two provinces and we do this. And then we'll do this. So do you, are you just permanently at war with the English because you keep on fighting their little puppets? Okay, I could switch out from Castile to France and the Ottomans, potentially. So let's fight you now. Ah, I was meant to keep him because he was a two, two uh, siege general. And we get length of election time minus one because it helps us uh, spam out those 666s six, six, sixes a lot earlier. Yeah, I'll, I'll do this one. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, that's sort of a very similar name to the first Duke we had. Are we sure he didn't just, uh, you know, pull a fast one? Also, he's a 4-3. There you go. That's tactical warfare for you, boys. Uh, also, Manchua, I love you to bits, bud, but I don't need you anymore. All right, what did you take? You took two provinces, and then England gave you your cause. It's a good timing, actually. There's the Union. Austria is terrifying. <laughs> no, don't be friendly. Be threatened, and then maybe the Ottomans... Every time I'm at war, they're like, Ah, oh, buddy! Just please, <laughs> stop teasing me like this. Oh, the Poles are all with the, with the Austrians. Interesting. Lose half my manpower that I have left. Wonderful. All right, grab national unrest minus two, which is actually decent. National unrest minus two, pretty good. I've actually gotten rid of basically these, all of the unrest in the Genoese provinces. I hate you. <laughs> France is just containing me, man. A hundred percent. There is no, there is no reason for them to ally. This is egregious. The allying Manchua, it's just, it's, it does not serve their purposes in any way, shape or form. All right, there's a small coalition against me here. I'm trying to avoid the coalition as much as possible. I'll quickly pick up some naval tradition whilst I'm here. All right, so let's get rid of that alliance with Venice. Ferrara's not going to exist anymore. Let's grab that, humiliate, give me your money, and we'll call it. Okay, I need Bologna and Ravenna. I'll probably take that in the next war I fight against these two. Now, they're still friendly. They declare war on Genoa. That's all good. I don't like Genoa. Uh, I need to declare a holy war because I have manpower. Whilst we're here, might as well grab uh, national tax and also morale of armies. And we'll invest in becoming the next pope. We have seven cardinals. How did they quit? What? When? Where? From where? The French are, by the way, allied to Switzerland, Mantua, and Utrecht. Utrecht, nothing to do with me. Fair enough. These other ones, man. Come on. All right. Lovely. Let's take your lands. Excellent. And continue the expansion. All right. We're going to take aggressive expansion impact. I really wish I'd waited like a day. That'd have been great. All right, grab ourselves another merchant, which is going to be quite useful. We haven't actually done anything to do with trade. Uh, literally nothing. It's like I've not been prioritizing it. I should probably be building up some of these things like this and doing that and that sort of stuff. Now, big question. <gasps> They're friendly. Minus 11. Milanese enemy Morocco. Bro, Morocco, what, what the hell do I have to do with you? Trust, my army, my re diplomatic reputation, my relationship with Castile. These are all issues, apparently. Um, all right, let's start rolling for a dip rep guy. We could be so good together, Ottomans. Dip rep, nice. Go, 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 go. Give me some cash. I will take out loans if I have to. So why am I paying these forts? I'm not like two and a half ducats a month. Negative eight. I don't have too many diplomatic relations. You have three st things taken up. And you're guaranteeing Ragusa. You're telling me guaranteeing Ragusa is the main aim here. What else can I do? Um, I could do this again. Scornful and Salt Venice. They love that. Negative two. Oh my God, come on. Trust is going up. Negative three. How is it going? getting worse? Um, I could spam out a bunch of mercenaries. I've got more ships building, I suppose. That might help. Negative two. Zero. Yes! Okay, that, right, that, that's good. That's very good indeed. Okay. So we've allied the Ottomans and Castile. So sort of like the Mediterranean is surrounded by us and our allies. And also the Moroccans. Very useful indeed. Also, I'm pretty sure I could have just taken a dip rug thing from there. But still, that's fine. Sorry, you have claims on me? On me? Oh, okay. Could you not use them? Bro. <laughs> this is the worst. Okay. I'm going to get the, the Ottomans on side. And we're going to use the Ottomans to fight the French. That's my plan. And we'll weaken the French. Because realistically, who are the French allied to apart from my enemies? Venice, Manchua, and Switzerland. Literally, they're just trying to box me in, man. Um, let's just call in Castile and fight Savoy. Expand to the south. I need those two provinces. I need the rest of Venice, basically. I need some of Savoy. Yeah, and after that's pretty, pretty straightforward. All right, we can reset the truce time with Florence as well. That'll be useful. All right, let's go ahead and rumble. Yeah, I don't really want a mountain fort falling. I'm not going to lie to you. Who are we actually at war with? Gelra and Strasbourg. 
I've had to deal with surprisingly few rebels to the point where I really wish I'd taken humans that is because I kind of like not having to deal with rebels and mercilessly murder half my population constantly. Okay, you attacked Pale Conquest and Varet, so that's going to make us clash heads pretty soon. You're out like for a lot of people. That sucks. I will take all this land, of course. <laughs> Jesus Christ, I'm pretty sure that would kill me immediately. Uh, I don't want to accumulate you again. You know what? Just, just white peace and I'll fight you soon. All right, that's Strasbourg done as well. Let's just go ahead and ask you to do all that good stuff. Thank you very much. Now, ladies and gentlemen, comes uh, the portion of the video that you were expecting. Uh, I could not contain my greed for long. It's time for us to uh, trigger a bit of a coalition, cause a bit of a stir. And uh, we've also got uh, Geneva as a vassal. Oh, wow, you uh, took a bit of land there, didn't you? Uh, took two provinces. Huh. Interesting. As we join a coalition, might as well take more land, right? <laughs> Help me. <laughs> oh, he's a conqueror. Oh, that's lovely. Now, provided my allies don't abandon me, we should be absolutely fine with this coalition. Okay, the next tech to make sure we appear strong. Mm. Mm -hmm 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 -hmm. So, weirdly enough, and I didn't think that this would happen this game, um, I've been screwed over by the Moroccans. Because they've rivaled me and... and why, I don't understand. Um, the Ottomans are now going to break their alliance with me. There is nothing I can do to stop this. Alright, Castile counts for about 52,000, 70,000 troops. The Ottomans account for... I just... Oh. I don't know who's a better ally. I'm gonna stick with my gut and go for the Ottomans. Which means I can ally the French. <laughs> Sucks, I really wanted to do that big war. I thought, I swear to God, I saw that red flag and I thought it was the Ottomans breaking their alliance again. I thought, no way have they screwed me over like this. I really want to rival the Austrians. Oh, well, that's convenient. All right, we've allied the French. We've switched allegiances. So, that's a weird one on how Morocco managed to pivot us away from uh, an alliance with the Castilians, which maybe was their aim all along. Who can who can know? It was one for a second there. What was that? Now it's going down. All right, well, I'll like the Poles. Yeah, there's no point entering the coalition, boys. I've got the French, the Ottomans, and the Polish Lithuanians on our side. And we're going to set up our empire from now by getting administrative divisions. I plan on conquering everything. One of my favorite things about conquering new provinces is that you can see all the nice little buildings that are built for you there. You know, like oh, thanks for luck for creating a marketplace or like you know these two temples. I haven't built anything like that in my territory. Because I was too busy conquering yours. All right, I'm going to use this time to invest in my economy a little bit. As as I say it, there's an, there's an agriculture revolution. I'm going to grab monthly diplomatic power plus one. No, that's not what we want to see. That's also not what we want to see. Um, That breaks the alliance, isn't it? So I suppose it is what we want to see. Get a couple more galleys. We should be able to beat the Venetian navy. They don't seem too strong right now. Oh, they've got two heavies. That's, that's why, like, my old ships were melting. Still, we could probably beat them. There we go, economic ideas. Because usually I'd go for another military idea or I'd meta the hell out of it. We're going to go with something fun. To be fair, Econ is, Econ Qual is the, uh, is the meta. So, do I want to go for another? I kind of want to go for another military idea, actually. Full militarized Milan could be kind of fun. And that's Venice's fleet dead. Oh, well, his nail's promise, at least. You gave Ravenna to the Papal State. I wanted that province. And you gave it to the Papal State? What the hell is wrong with you? Why would you do that? Oh, I'm getting bullied by the AI again. It's happening again. So I want to ring the bell. Oh, God. He's spent this entire game containing me. The entire game. Screwing me over. And then he just does that? Really? All right, well, we've popped uh, Milan up to 30 development, which gives us Renaissance City. And whilst we wait out the coalition, I'm just going to sit here and develop. Is it bad that I want the coalition to actually fire? <laughs> I want to see if we can take them. It's a very large coalition. Well, that's thinned out in recent years. Oh, the Austrians actually took Wallachia. Well, oh, God, the Balkans. Are you still protected by the Ottomans? You are. Even after decreasing the autonomy, that people are like, ah, it's, it's okay. It's Italia. We're producing wine. That was meant to be an Italian accent. Grazie. Prego. Pizza. <laughs> I should stop doing the accent. <laughs> no, I gotta stop. My Italian audience just plummeted to negative numbers. Oh, nice. Hey, Leonardo da Vinci, let's, let's get him in. Where is he? Production efficiency, is he? It's Leonardo da Vinci, put him in it. Love that guy. Oh, Leonardo Pico is now a 666, wonderful. No, why did I say anything? Just died. All right, we've got Morocco as a rival. I don't really want to do that. I'm going to rival the papal state, which I know is a terrible idea for our papal influence, but whatever. Am I supposed to not take that land? It's free. It's literally free. They don't know me yet. They can't join a coalition. Go, 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 go. Thank you. 
Let's communicate as well. All right, so it might be in three wars after I said I was gonna calm down. Um, that there's a, there's a very good reason for that. Um, I have to. <laughs> Why do I give you military access? I don't care about any of you. Okay, coalition. That's that's fine. Is Australia coalition against me still? Yes, but that's okay. A again, if I don't, someone else will. Okay, don't land there. Always click expand administration before losing out on reform progress if you have to. A little, little tip there with eighth efficiency. You might have lost five reform progress like that, and pfft, God damn, how would you sleep at night? Venice just watching his lands. The papal state took Venice itself. <laughs> of course the French, of course the French have allied Pisa. What are you doing to me, man? What are you doing? You've allied Pisa, you've allied Mantua, you, you're in Switzerland, you're just containing me. Why? Of course you did. Why wouldn't you? You bastard. Yeah, France, come come help me. Oh, I'm so scared about the might of um, Aquilia. Uh, cheers, bro. Now we attack. You would take vassalization? Seems like a painless way to do this. Well, I've already got one vassal. Fortunately for you, he's got a core. So what do I need for this? Or whatever it is. So I need Ravenna. Okay, three provinces. Oh, I could do it immediately after this, and that will give me claims on this area. Okay, nice. Oh no, because they need to hold, they need to not hold Treviso. And then for this one, I just need, I need Ravenna. So I just need to fight the Pope, basically. Which I will do. Yeah, at a time which I'm trying to get people out of the coalition, maybe not a good idea. Oh, I don't care. I, what am I playing? Like, why am I playing Sket? No, whatever. Get over here. Just, just give me the land. And this will go to Florence. And this will go to me. Nice, become a great power. All right, and then I need to declare war on you immediately. A lot of different uh, things I need to keep track of now. So you, when is my truce up with you? There's Milan in this list. Ah, Milan. 1506. So July 1506 and July 1504. So this month, well this year, July, take him out. And he's allied the English immediately. Cool, cool. Love it when you just ally the English for fun. Why is everyone always in debt, man? Except we destabilize you. Why? Why? Do you have a good opinion? What's your opinion, Matt Lord? Ugh, you like him. Okay, that's fine. We will go over here and we will ask you to to use opinion of is it the papal state or papal state? It is the, there you go. You still wouldn't come in. This game sucks. This game, trash game, trash game. I'm still going after him. I can't afford to not, because he'll just join the coalition. So, you know, there's that. Okay, he has two heavy ships. But I have a lot of galleys. It should be fine. All right, we're not going for like full conquest in this war anyway. All right, Pope, I just need these two provinces. England, could you do that thing where you just don't turn up? That would be amazing. I'm gonna send my cogs round to blockade the other side. Seems like a good idea. I'm just glad the English aren't actually turning up. They're doing that whole thing of they're just gonna sit there, which is, which is good. It's nice. I like it when that happens. Also, I, I like how I can claim to be the defender of the faith whilst attacking the Pope. I don't know if I have forts protecting those areas. I don't. So I kind of don't want to lose them. Ragusa in this war. Who am I actually fighting? Ragusa. Okay, so lose those out. Nope, they are not. I did not mean to attack him there. But that's fine. We've won. Dude, you have nothing. Why are you not piecing out? Full of advisors, we still make 20 a month. It's beautiful. Even if we didn't make any money off of trade, we'd still be making a lot of money. All right, let's see if we can go and actually take Ragusa. Because I want Ravenna, right? We give these two provinces to Florence. Why oh, they give it to me now? Wow, Venice is just there. You can have a coalition, you know? Coalition's a coalition. It's just, it's just, I might as well, you know what I mean? Was I meant to be at war with you? Yeah, I forgot. Whoops. Right, let's go march on Liège. Sick of this guy coming down here. That's Liège out of the wall. The issue is we're never going to get 100% because of the English. I remember saying in a previous recording that my neighbors would just sort of put their dog outside of my window. Um, because it's a very, very loud, like, I think it doesn't, I found it the other day, right? I thought it was a puppy from the sounds of it. It's not a puppy. It's a fully, it's a dog. It's just got a very high pitched, like whiny bark. Um, yeah, and they just sort of just put it outside the window uh, when I'm recording. <laughs> Fortunately, the mic doesn't pick it up, but like, it, it's a little bit like, it's a little bit annoying. Where are you getting these troops from? Oh, from Venice. Oh, that makes sense. Okay, well, um, let's go send our troops to deal with that. I can't believe I've never actually sieged down Venice itself. Kind of makes me feel a bit silly now. All right, let's go to Venice. The two light ships still exist. Ah, oh, it's because they've got the ports. No, Leonardo da Vinci's dead. It sucks. All right, we're going to just straight up take this land, I think. Coalition be damned. And there we go. That gives us expand to the south and gives us conquer Tuscany, which gives us the Mona Lisa. And also claims on, I think, territory we've just taken. Nope, it does not. It gives us claims on the territory. Well, I don't understand what it gives us. It gives us something. All right, that's a lot. Oh, we actually did take, I didn't think I did. Mm, I took Venice. I didn't mean to take Venice, but we 
for getting on the less. In any case, lads, I think that's where we'll leave it for today. Uh, that is Milan. That is one of the most fleshed out nations in the game. Obviously, outside of just your basic England, France, Castile. England having a great game. Jesus. And, you know, the Ottomans and stuff. Yeah, I, I think it's also... One of the few nations that is fun to play tall, well not tall, but like, it's sort of, because Northern Italy is so expensive, you expand like hell, and then in periods of time when there's a coalition, like now, you just sort of sit back, develop your, your nation, and you can outgrow other nations like that fine as well. So it's, it's yeah, it's fun at peace, it's fun at war, and I highly recommend you, uh, you try it out. Uh, if you want to see me continue this campaign, I think I'd probably go on to try and form Italy, but uh, let me know what you think in the comments down below. Otherwise, boys, please make sure to like and subscribe, it really does help me out, and I'll see you all next time. Goodbye. Huge shout out to our patrons, most notably, Charlie Demorel, Krilly, Flyerton, JDow52, Cargon, Xiaomi, Lewis Wright, Nicole's Christ, QA Shard, Redguard, and Shadow Singer. Your support means a lot, guys. Whilst you're here, you might as well click on another video. I mean, it's, it's literally right there.